So, how did we arrive at our current picture of the universe? The story most of us know is the standard model of cosmology, first mathematically conceptualized by the Belgian priest and physicist Georges Lemaitre in 1927. It states that our universe exploded into being 13.8 billion years ago from a point of extreme density. From this intensely hot state, space itself began to expand. Over billions of years, gravity sculpted this expanding cosmos, pulling matter together to form the vast web-like structure of galaxies we observe today. This model is incredibly successful. It explains the faint afterglow of the Big Bang, the cosmic microwave background, and it accounts for the accelerating expansion of the universe. This acceleration, confirmed in 1998, is often attributed to dark energy, which makes up about 68% of the universe. When combined with dark matter, at around 27%, it appears 95% of our cosmos is made of stuff we can't see or understand. This means that all the stars, planets, and galaxies we can observe make up a mere 5% of reality. The singularity itself represents a point where our laws of physics break down, which is deeply unsatisfying for physicists. The model also struggles to explain why the universe appears so uniform in temperature over vast distances, a puzzle known as the horizon problem. Furthermore, the geometry of space is remarkably flat, an initial condition that seems incredibly fine-tuned and lacks a complete explanation.